All right, some paused again. All right, cool. Nobody's making any world tension. Yeah, not yet. I mean, Japan started off pretty early by just slaughtering the Chinese. Oh, yeah, my solo game, I, I may have jumped the gun quite horribly compared to what you meant to do and just gone, hey, let's go, <laughs> pretty much from the start. Wow. Well. Are you at war with America yet? Or oh, did you say you made a coup in America to try and avoid oh, them? It, I'm, I'm trying to avoid America by making them fascist. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so our, our battle cruiser has been built. Uh, so we have another factory. Should we just stick it on submarines or should we build some more? Get the, get the destroyer out of the way because then that frees all of them up to go onto submarines or whatever we want to do with them. Okay, cool. So I'll stick it on that. And obviously, there, there is a opportunity that we can get more dockyards pretty easily as well without having to build them. Just going yep. down the naval rearmament gives us another two, and then naval efforts gives us another two, so that's an extra four we can get in 140 days. All right, we're going to have to pause in, uh, was it six days? Because then we can rejuggle our imports. Okay, yeah, cool. We'll have our oil and rubber. Yeah, need to sort that out. Because, yeah, we can probably, what, we're getting 10, so we can get one one factory back. Because we're currently importing. We need 15, and that'll give us 10. So we can get one factory back. Are, are we getting factories from exporting aluminium and steel, or not? Uh, um... From export zero, so no, no, nobody's. That's the one thing you can't force people to take your exports. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Like, so why, why do we have to give up civilian factories, but they don't? Because uh, it's the sort of the payment method. If someone was buying resources off of us, we would get their civilian factories, but no one is. Oh, okay. But like, what are the exports just like? not someone buying it off of us then it's just like happening you know just random businesses and stuff not a country well we, we don't have any exports we've got consumer goods which is just us making like posters and stuff yeah but like isn't like if you go on the steel it says export 117 uh no. and aluminium for my mine is 39 on their exports Current exports nothing if you hover over it. We've got 117 available for export. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, cool. Uh, right, did we build that factory or did I just pause it because we were looking at something? No, um, we've got yeah, that factory. Yeah, it has been built. Has it affected yet? We have, so we have a five surplus, so we can probably reduce our, our oil, which I'll do now. I think we'll only need one, right? So so it, hang if on, I, if I pull up the production tab. So we've got six oil in subs and four oil in destroyers. So you can, if you want to hamstring the navy, you can still afford to lose ten. Okay, but I think it's only eight at a time. So we, yeah, then we've got so five. So it's uh, only one so, anyway. So we'd still be giving away one because we'd either yeah, have eight or nothing or sixteen. Uh, if you did sixteen, it would only affect tactical bombers. Oh really? So we could just not be importing whatsoever on oil. Yeah. Do you want to do think that's good? Well, it would give us that extra factory to make us build things quicker. Okay, cool. So I'll just I'll just cancel all the all the oil then. Yep. Sorry, Romania, no more oil, f <laughs> no more buying oil from you. So yeah, that should hopefully right. help us out, just factory wise, because what we get two more now. So we're already yeah we're maxed out production on our other oil refinery. And then we're and someone's slowly working on our our factory. Just I like just, to, I like to think it's just one guy. Of people. Yeah, 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 not even just, that. It's just one guy just banging away with a hammer. It's just a big pile of rubble, and he sat there with his little pickaxe. Like, oh, just, I've got this. I've got this. <laughs> just sitting on the floor, just you know, just. It's just like the world's biggest himself. Minecraft project, and it's you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Our supply weapons are done in 21 days, which is good. I mean, it might be a good idea to get uh, get our support field hospital up and running early on, because I feel like that's yep. quite a good one to have. Yeah, because we're going to be throwing manpower at things and we don't have an endless supply. And obviously we probably want to get anti-tank uh, things early on as well. 
We yeah. definitely want them for when we hit Russia. Yeah. So that's something you can... I mean, because you have to actually obviously implement them into your divisions. But and you either have them as support for a tiny one or an entire chunk of them, which is what I started doing on the, the Japan thing I've got. Yeah, I mean, you'll probably need them against T-34s and stuff, so... Yeah. It's probably a good idea to stick them, because obviously we can... We, the cool thing is, as well, we can we can create our own division, so you can have a separate division for your Eastern Front, but then I can have a separate division for my Western Front that we're building, yep. which is kind of cool. Alright, so what have you... Um... The one thing I'm concerned about is we've got no marines for river crossings. I was wondering if we wanted to do that as a research, even if it's just the lowest tier, and then just each have a, like, I don't know, five divisions of marines or something. So if you get stuck at a river, you can use them to punch the initial crossing. Yeah, yeah, that could definitely work. And we'll, we'll probably need marines anyway to invade England, so... Yeah. Or the right, Remilitarization of the Rhineland. So, yeah. territory now. So now we go west, west wall. And we start working on the industry focus when yep. we can. So I'll go ahead and start that. Because cool. that, that'll go ahead and give us, I think, level three forts along the Maginot line on our side. Uh, what does it do? Let's see. It makes a political advisor available. Grants your fortification engineer. Land fort construction speed increased. Uh, Anti-aircraft construction speed increased. And you get 12 land forts along the French border at Württemberg and 12 at Maslaland. Yeah, which is, I think, the the province of that along the French border. So we'll get, I think, three along each of the lines, maybe? Yeah, that's Württemberg. That's Merseland. So Merseland also touches Luxembourg, but I don't know if you'll get a fort there. Yeah, maybe not. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. How's our recruitment doing? Oh, the first batch of each of our troops is out. Yep, I've got my first four. And they're, they're trained as well. Do they not get regular? Oh, you can see all my men remilitarizing the Rhine as well. They're, they're all moving along the border now. You uh, you only get trained coming out of uh, production. You can get regular, and I think I think you can get to regular by exercising, and then I think you only get to veteran through actual combat. Okay, makes sense. So uh, is it shift click to go ahead and add them to the line, or is it alt click to add them to the line? Um, Control, oh, control right click. click to add them to the command. Yeah. Oh, the support weapon's done. That's the right tree for us to then get the marines if we wanted. Where is it? Hold on, let me have a look. I mean, again, the marines probably aren't immediately needed, right? Because it's, it's... it's for river crossings. You've got some nasty rivers in France. Yeah, but I mean, like, we don't have to... Is there something better we can research which will help us in the long run? Because obviously once we have it's... marines, it's, we have them. Like, is there something you've got in to industry? build and train them as well, though, is the only thing. Yeah, I guess that's very true. Um, but, like, do you think maybe having the better oil plants would be better for now? Or... Um, we've still got a few years yet, haven't we? I guess. Yeah, um... yeah, we've got a while. Or do you think it would be better to maybe get like something else which could help us I can't remember like, what getting that next synthetic thing actually does it lets you state level 2 so I guess it does it actually yeah so it improves the building so I assume that means we get more oil from the building right that would be a, a logical I'm not sure it does I think it's just how many you can have in a state maybe okay because if you if you click into them and hover over them they're no different they're yeah. all plus five oil to rubber. Um, okay, then just we go... get the production efficiency that would then let us unlock dispersed industry, which is factory output. Okay, yeah, just grab that and also, max that number of factories. Also, we have a uh, another political decision. So, what one did we say we wanted? The uh, the civilian one or the the war industry we one? We get the civilian one because we're building civilian factories. We'll oh, probably and be able to get the war one by the time we get around to it. Okay, so yeah, get the get the captain of industry. Because he also improves the construction speed of refineries as well, which is exactly what we're doing right now. Oh, oh crap. What? I think we both just clicked it and have got rid of him. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> so we just Excellent, wasted right. 150 points. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, rip. I that's guess we should have been... That's a lesson. <laughs> Hopefully it's a lesson learned and it will never happen again. Yep. Okay, cool. I'm going to go and split up the submarines now, just so that they're split up for now. Oh, 
Oh, that's a pretty nice feature. You can actually split up. There's a uh, button straight away where you can just split up all submarines or all battleships or all battle cruisers. Nice. That's actually really, really useful. And I'll get uh, get coal to start leading the submarines. Where's the XP bar there? Okay, I'm going to pause a second and split this division out. Um, only your trained troops train, but all the other ones still get attrition from being in the training stance. Okay. So you you want a, a training general. Oh, okay. Is there, is there one I can have? Is there like well, a... I just mean you want, you want them in a different group, so they're training, but your main guys aren't all getting attrition as well. Uh, do you not want everyone training at the same time? Like, do you not get more experience uh, so, the more you train? So, if you if you look at their experience level... Oh, yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Then, you want there's all the... no little bar next to them because they're already at the regular level. Yeah, so you... But so they're you... as trained as they're going to get from exercising. And does that not give you more experience, though? So wouldn't it, like, wouldn't Possibly, it be worth it? Possibly, but it's, it's giving attrition and stuff to all your troops. Yeah, which is meaning we need more supplies and stuff. So what, should I stop all the... Well, I would say train your newest troops and we can see how our supply situation goes and then we can look at it. Okay, cool. So I'll split these guys up now. Right, who do we want as... Um, no, we don't want Manstein. He's another tank leader. So is Guderian. I'll save both of them. Let's have Modal. Uh, let's see. All right, are you all ready? Uh, yep, yep, I'm good. Just moving everyone back to Frankfurt. Or not everyone, but my new troops back to Frankfurt to get in a training stance. I and mean, then everyone else can just stop exercising. Yeah, oh, they're, um, obviously they're not entrenched as well. Organizations massively gone back up. Yeah. I'll just transfer them out into the main division as they get trained. Yep, yep. Sounds good. Yeah, we probably have lost some experience gaining, but we're not doing huge amounts of changes. And once the fights actually start, I think we'll have plenty. Is there any abilities which make them better at training at all? Like in the actual commander? I've not seen any. Does um, do someone think... in the chat's asked a question about Hitler as in why in some videos they're seeing he's blacked out? That's in the German specific version. They're not allowed to show swastikas and the Hitler and various things like that. Just so people are aware, if you're watching live streams and he's greyed out, it probably means they're playing the German version. Does out of supplies help with training? Do you think? It says, it says minus percent, minus fifty percent out of supply. So, because they're exercising and using supplies, would that be better for training? Um, that's what training does. So, training uses up some of your supplies to increase their experience level. Yeah, so having someone who reduces out of supplyness by 50% would be good, right? Maybe. The uh, thing is, you're not out of supply. You are being supplied. You're just expending them. So, okay. it depends how they've worded it. I'd imagine they've probably caught on to that loophole, but you might have. You might have outsourced them. I mean, it's worth sticking them on, right? Because well, yeah. it's either that or just no one else anyway. So it's worth a, <laughs> worth a try, right? And I'll tell them to garrison uh, Frankfurt as well. Whilst they train. Oh. Yeah, what's our production look like at the top of the list so we're missing 8,000 weapons so yeah the, the amount of training we were doing was hampering our production line yeah definitely well I'm, I'm doing a lot less now so that should hopefully yeah it's it's coming back down again now we're produ yeah. we're out producing what we're out we're spending with the training I think 
because that would have hampered our division creation quite horribly. Yeah, hugely. And the nice thing is as well, one of the one of the problems I had when I was playing by myself was that just like everything got away from me. So towed to artillery, supply e equipment, like all was just like I needed to fill, fill it with like 10,000 each. So the nice thing is we've kind of got the rest under control, which is kind of useful. people in chat haven't quite worked out that it's possible to both play as the same country yet they're like what what country's jackie <laughs> yeah that's, that's a cool feature i think it was in hearts of iron 3 as well that you could both play as the same faction is, i is think it? it's been in paradox games for quite a while yeah definitely they, because i know it's in they, the eu4 they were saying um what is it, called? it was in their their co-op french campaign they were like oh yeah you could uh, you could all co-op Albania. You could have thirty-six people co-oping Albania. It might be thirty-two, oh but whatever their limit is. <laughs> could like, you um, imagine? I don't. I don't think Albania has enough troops for you even to have one each. <laughs> <laughs> yep, straight away. Uh, but so this is my division, and I'm keeping it. Should we get the resource gain efficiency? Efficiency. The yeah. Yep. Go ahead and okay, you can click that. Cool. Just make sure I don't click it again, so it doesn't on right, research. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make a thing here. I'll, I'll click all the political stuff. You click all the research stuff. Okay, sounds. And like... the production thing's not such a problem because we can always put it back in again without any issue. Yeah, we don't have to. I can't believe we lost 150 political power points <laughs> from doing that. That's so funny. It was probably me because I'm sure that something popped up and I just clicked OK because I've yeah. never seen anything different <laughs> pop up there before. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I clicked it first, but like obviously when you're on that screen, like you just it doesn't you don't really know. Doesn't say like this person's now in. Okay, so now right. you do it this time, I'll, and I I'll won't press it. Where's he gone? Where's Hess? Come here. Where are you hiding? Oh, you might be able to see his thing as well. What the? Uh, the... Is he actually gone? What forever? <laughs> War industrial cap uh, captain. It was captain of industry. One. We've already got Hess. That's why I'm looking for oh, the wrong name. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. There cool. we go. Like, how do we get rid of him as well? Because surely you need another 150 to replace him. Like, or can you just kick him out for free? I think you can kick him out for free. I think that's what the window that popped up was telling me. Oh, okay. Like, do you want to do it? <laughs> they actually train up reasonably quickly looking at this. Um, yeah, my, my dudes are almost halfway and I've only really just done it so that's good hopefully we'll have some elite troops all right when's our 15th of august our next oil plant finishes and there's the west wall nice uh, should i go ahead and click the the industry effort yep it's a good one to go yep. for next because that well that gives us six more civilian factories which kind of means we don't really have to like after we built the ones we were building we don't really have to build that many more and a research bonus to construction yeah, which should is is that reducing the ones we already have? Uh, it will be the ne next one in the tree we research from the construction list will be fifty percent quicker. Which doesn't that normally pop up straight away though? Isn't there normally like a notification telling us that though, or mm. not? Because I swear normally like when because when I was doing it over Panzers, it came up above other Panzers saying it was fifty percent off, and it hasn't like popped oh, up okay. there. So I don't know. It's, maybe maybe it'll just you, work. I think when... it's when you finish when you finish it because we okay. haven't actually researched that thing yet. Oh, what, what one is it? Sorry, yet. the one you're the focus we're doing. Oh, right yeah, now. yeah, of course. Sorry, I thought as you well meant that we already factories. had it. Yeah, sorry, I it was just me being an idiot. <laughs> Quite a while for our uh, research. We'll have another one of them before anything else is researched. Yeah. Yeah, we got a while. I mean, our uh, our doctrine's almost done, which is nice. It's going to help us out with organisation. I think it's like plus fifteen percent, which is pretty huge. I think you've got two more divisions just deployed. Oh, I need to go ahead because you can deploy them straight to the general, which is kind of nice. Like off the deployment screen, which I'll do now. Actually, you can actually tell them just to deploy to the general. I think. Okay. Because I saw a Rimba do it on his playthrough. Oh, I just put it completely on the wrong one. So Italy's just won the Ethiopian war. I mean, that could have been a good thing to do as well, straight off the bat, was have uh, have us to send some men to fight in Ethiopia straight away, because that could have given them some good training and, and given us some good experience. Yeah, we didn't think of that. Oh, the uh, Olympic Games. Oh, we won lots of medals. Yeah, 
cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just tell them to deploy to the general if you right click. Or uh, because of the way I'm doing the training and the shuffling, I'll keep them manual. I think. Okay, cool. I think so. Anyway. But I'm not sure. <laughs> like, I still remember doing it, but I can't remember how he did it. Uh, so someone's asking, does the game have a mouse tank? Um, that'll be research. Thanks. So you get Tiger King, Tiger Mouse. And you can even turn into a Flak Mouse, the Artillery Mouse, and the Jaeger Mouse. Jagged Mouse, even. That's very silly. What we should do is we should just get the World War One tanks, just uh, you know, in all our I've got divisions. Track, <laughs> just millions of them will swarm. swarm exactly, the they're hills. pretty cheap. What one oil and oh my god, they're not even cheap. Like the one oil and two steel, whereas you can get a Panzer four for one oil and two and um, three steel, and obviously just some more of some other resource. But you're pretty yep. much paying the exact same for a Panzer four, which I'd much rather have. <laughs> Yeah, so like to go ahead and annex Austria, we need 550,000 manpower on the field. So hopefully right. by the time we hit that, we'll have the industry focuses already down. So then it's kind of, it will hopefully work nicely, but we'll get our factories and then we can annex Austria. And then we can go for the army and innovation and get better land doctrine bonuses. I mean, actually, that's probably something we want to do as well. Because obviously we want to get the, the research bonus for land doctrine as well. Yep. And it gives available as chief of army, and it gives someone we can go ahead and do, which gives better mm, division speed, which I guess you want on your Panzers or something maybe, or even like mobile. It will like if we get SS divisions, we maybe want him on them. Would maybe be a good idea. I love how earlier on the uh, objective to attack Poland, it was like no, too difficult. They've got too many men. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> What? <laughs> Alright. My first four divisions are starting to get to the point where they're going to be trained, I think. Oh, dockyards. We're on to subs only. Making just under six a year. Okay, good. That should uh, boost our sub production pretty nicely. Where are they even deploying to? Are they deploying to the north where all the rest of the ships are? Uh, they deployed to one of the dockyards. I don't know if we um, no, where. Yeah, they're deploying to some, the one in Poland. So I'll change that. So it's deploying where the rest of the ships are. Oh, to Konigsberg. Yeah. Um, again, I'm pretty sure you can make them deploy to a general. Or can you not even do that with submarines? Oh, I've got submarines turned off. There we go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Deployed to Philly. I just don't know what fleet it is. I'll look. It is number two. Okay, good. Daily experience gain 7 1 is the training. So, not even 100 days. Oh, uh, well, over 100 days. Oh, no, that's. No, I'm reading that wrong. Ignore me. Changing. <laughs> that noise whenever the Navy moves is <laughs> just so random. Oh, the sort of the siren noise. Yeah, like, it's just like, <laughs> what? You get some really random noises out of them whenever um, they get in a fight as well. Okay, I'll split them up. We've got three submarines there, which can go into the other one. Uh, do Apparently, if we're going to have a tractor army, we have to have the garden shed reinforcement division. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, yeah, you can see They're all the our... come in and take and hold. You can see all our land forts have been built now along our side of the Maginot Line, which look really cool. Just either side. Nice. That's something we want military police. For what when we when we For when whenever take we take places and don't manage to win the war because it's an allies battle, yeah. we have to keep them under control. Yeah, that could be definitely something good for like the Balkans and obviously France. You know, even though we'll have quite a lot of military force in France. Because I quite like making a division, the, the cavalry division, be the police force. Yeah. Because they're fast enough to get around, but you don't really want them for anything else. Okay, so I guess industry effort too. Yep. Nice.
I mean, that's good. We, we banged that out really early. So we got a bunch of new factories and it's not even 37 yet. So Our next complete civilian factory is the 25th of October, which is not far away. Yeah, which is good. Then does, does that does that build two of them? Because we've got it stacked up to two, or does it just do one and I then it'll do another one not afterwards? Sure, I think it has to do another one afterwards. Okay, that's fine though. That would be good having another civilian factory there. Uh, we can also right. modify the government. So I guess we want the the military building one because we'll be building military factories or very very soon. Yep. And then we'll also be convert. Does it help with converting as well, right? Or not? Oh no, it doesn't. No, that was someone else. That's um, fine. I mean, I guess I'm we're always... I'm not a fan new. of converting, to be honest, but that's yeah. just me. I mean, like, I do understand, like, why people will say that. Because, like, you're kind of spending, what, 70, 80 days to convert a factory. You might, you might as well just build a new one. Okay, so Spain is up to 48% fascist. How's the Netherlands Oh, doing? yeah, I totally forgot about the Netherlands. <laughs> They're 26% fascist now. Okay, good. I mean, it's only 36 as well, so... And the next election is... 37 so you know as long as I can't remember if they have that. um uh what's it called no i can't remember the name of the type of representation where everyone gets a seat based on their percentage of votes I proportional no representation idea. that's the one uh, does it say i don't think it does i don't think it's it doubt it's been a rep yeah i don't think it's been modeled which is fine, but I mean, twenty six percent is not bad. They could, they have a chance. Uh, we're under a million manpower available now. Yeah, in my one, I went down to like something ridiculous. I went down to like four hundred thousand before the war. So we, we probably... do have fifty divisions between us now, though. All right, those guys are trained. They can get out of there into the main army. Oh, new re oh, we got two new researches done. So uh, oh, I really balls. like how it how it stacks up uh, the research as well, which is really nice. How like you have a you have an entire month of research gain. Yes. Which you like obviously. So if you're doing something else in mid in the middle of war. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see construction two is fifty percent cheaper. So it's hundred. We're still we're still be doing it early. Yeah, by a little bit. So uh, um, what, what did you say you want to distribute? Industry? Yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. Yeah, that's really factory good. Factory bomb vulnerability reduction. And max factory, so I'll go ahead and click that. That's quite a long time. Almost 200 days, though. But I, obviously, it'll be worth it. Right. And then, and what... then the other one was a land doctrine, I think. Uh, no, I think we get that after doing... No? Um, we, yeah, we haven't actually got any bonuses to we land doctrine training yet. is what I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can definitely do that. But that's, that's again, 300 days. I think if we wait... Uh, to okay. get the, the army innovation one, it goes ahead and gives us, yeah, two times 50% bonuses. So we might so we as well could, wait if there's something, if there's something improve, else. We could improve our artillery because it's not, um, like it's oh, not yeah. the next version of artillery. It's just the improvement. Also, or do you want, unlock the anti-tanks? Yeah, I mean, what do you think is more important? Because obviously we're going to have to have a new production line working on anti-tanks. Yeah, go for the improved artillery. Improved artillery? Okay, cool. Yeah, it's into war artillery. It's just a bonus to its soft attack. Yeah, which is obviously good. Uh, what what's currently suffering because we don't have enough oil? Is it just the the submarines, and the... Um, we got rubber on the close air support and the tactical bomber, and we've got oil on the subs. Okay, so and even the subs, it's not all of their factories. It's just the last three factories have got a problem. Okay, so it might be worth because obviously we're going to need more more stuff when we start building medium yeah, tanks. Need a so lot it might more be tanks worth. And planes. So it might be worth getting a few more refinery factories after. Yep. Because, I mean, I look at, we're actually working up. on the, the other one in Ostermark as well, which is pretty good. Like, because we have more civilian factories. So we're actually working on two at the same time. So it's, instead of that one guy, he's kind of got some more friends now. Ah, I know what that upgrade is now. I can only build one of these per province. Oh, okay. And it allows you so to like, build, like, three. Yeah, because we've already got one in Niederschleschen or whatever it's called, we can't have another one. Okay. If I put it in Brandenburg, it's still reasonably secure. There's two more queued up. Because we are going to need a lot of oil. And if we suddenly decide we want military factories instead, we can just put them lower down the priority. 
Got a nice little uh, submarine fleet as well. We have like 20, not 20, 18. Your training guys have probably finished or you've got some new ones to add by the look of it, maybe? Oh, yeah, I was doing that just before the uh, other thing happened. Uh, no, they haven't quite got it yet. How's our stockpile of tanks doing? Got 257 light tanks in surplus. Tempted to just add one tank division on. Yeah, I mean, do do whatever you you want to do for your your division. Like, just get whatever you need. Uh, do you want to stick it to the top as well, just so like all your stuff's together and like all I'm just my stuff's together? What's it missing? It's missing support equipment, and infantry equipment. Did we get that? It's under... actually got all the tanks already. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it needs 100 motorized and 240 tanks. Oh, damn. So... We're still, like, running a pretty big deficit for our infantry equipment. Yeah. Like 11,000, almost 12. So it might be worth, like, taking some of towed artillery and sticking it into infantry equipment. So, like, maybe going down to, like... Hang I mean, on, what's like, a surplus like on that? towed artillery? We've only just got 25 surplus artillery, so artillery's only just running in a positive. But wouldn't it be better to reduce the positive of the infantry mm, equipment? Motorized has got 540 in uh, the, the warehouse. But again, there's only two factories there, whereas there's a lot more for towed. Mm. 